if you could give advice to someone wanting to do something creative, what would you say to them? If you could talk to your younger self before you yourself took that first step, what would you say? What made you take that step? What gave you the spark to start? Was it a friend, a family member, someone who you look up to, or did it just come from within? I recently made a video on creative motivation, and if you didn't check that video out, check it out after this. Every one of us is on a journey, whether you're at the start of your journey as a beginner or you're a seasoned pro who's been creating for ages. In this video, I'll give you my top five tips for creating content. These won't be a definitive five tips, but if just one tip works for you, then this video is successful. And stay tuned to the end as my extra tip is probably the most important one. My goal with the content that I create is to try and offer insights to anyone watching one of my videos like yourself who's watching this video right now. Hopefully helping you make an informed decision whether that's about creating something, using products or trying new features fueled by my passion to help others intertwined with my love of tech. Well, let's get on to the advice. The first tip, choosing a niche. The first step in the creating process is to choose a niche. If you're stuck, ask yourself, what are you passionate about? What do you know a lot about? What is that topic that you can talk forever about? I bet you know exactly what I'm talking about. Once you know your niche, you can start to focus your content on that topic. It's easy to fall into the trap of, is this too boring or who's going to like this? You don't need to worry about that at this stage. Generally, if there's a topic out there that you enjoy, then there are most likely others who are also passionate about the same topic too. And depending on where you'll be putting your content, this could be your chance to connect with those like-minded people and create a community and also help you attract new viewers who are interested in what you have to say. Tip two, do your research. Once you've chosen your niche, it's important to do your research. Is anyone else covering this topic? What are they doing well? What could they be doing better? By doing this research, you can learn from the best and create content that is even better than theirs by adding your own twist to the topic. But if you're passionate about your subject, why not make your voice worth listening to as well? Tip three, create high quality content. This may seem like a no-brainer, but it's worth repeating. If you want people to come to your content, you need to create good quality content. This means having good audio and video quality if you do things like this in a visual sort of creative way. And it will get better throughout the process, as well as having interesting and engaging content. Regarding making videos like this, the amount of people I've heard giving the advice of just make your first 100 videos. But what? does your first 100 videos look like? I think you should be always trying to make your next video better than the last one, whether that's a small improvement to how you deliver your content or a new piece of equipment that you're trying, something where at the end of the process you can say that was better. If I compare my first video to my latest video, there's been a vast improvement and I'm proud of that. And the 180 videos or so in between from the starting point to now, it's about progression and my journey, which is still continuing in this video and will continue in every every video I make. Just remember, you don't need expensive gear to create. Everything that you do can be done from your phone, from planning to recording to editing to uploading, or on this. And as you improve, you might want to upgrade your gear as your skills get better. And then you can sort of warrant that for better gear. Tip four, promote your content. It can be quite daunting once you've made your content to just leave it where it is and just let the algorithm deliver it to the masses. But What's wrong with giving it a helping hand? Once you've created it, something that you're proud of, you need to promote it. Shout from the rooftops. This is what I've done. And come and have a look. Share your videos on social media and reach out to other creators in your niche. The more people that get to see your content, the more exposure you'll get. Tip five, be patient. Creating great content takes time and effort. Don't expect to become an overnight success. Just keep creating great content and eventually you'll start to see results. It might not be financially rewarding, but even the personal improvements should be celebrated. Patience is essential virtue for anyone wanting to be creative. The creative process can often be long and unpredictable, and there will be times when things don't go as planned. But being patient allows you to take your time to explore your ideas as well as your thoughts and feelings and to experiment with those different ideas. If you're impatient, you're more likely to rush through the process, which can lead to you missing out on those great ideas you haven't had the chance to explore yet. 
it helps you overcome setbacks with normal parts of the creative process. You have ideas that don't work out, you'll make mistakes, you'll probably get discouraged at times, but if you're patient, you're more likely to persevere through those setbacks and keep working on your ideas. It allows you to let go of control. Sometimes the best way to be creative is to let go of that control and allow the process to unfold naturally. If you're too impatient, you're more likely to try and force things, which can stifle your creativity. Patience is not the only ingredient for creativity, but it's an essential one. If you can learn to be patient, you're more likely to achieve your creative goals. And that bonus tip that I was talking about, which I said was probably my most important one, just enjoy the process. Try not to make it a chore, keep it fun. If it's something you do at the weekend, make it that thing that you look forward to, a thing that puts a smile on your face, a thing that drives you and you never know where it could lead to. If you need to take a break, that's fine. It'll still be there when you're ready. I hope these tips help you create better content. If you got any suggestions for tips that could help others watching this video, or if any of these tips have helped you put that spark, leave a comment below. And as I mentioned earlier, if you haven't watched my video on creative motivation, check that one out. Be sure to share this video with anyone you think can benefit from these tips. Thanks for watching. Press the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Wait, wait.